to Farming Simulator 19. We're looking at some new mods for today. We got 10 new mods, uh, well technically 8 new mods, 2 of updates, and half of which are unfortunately PC only, but we're going to look at them all today guys. So we've got 4 mods for console and PC, and then we have another 4 brand new mods for, uh, for just PC. And 2 of the mods we're going to talk about are uh, just updates. So let's dive into this guys, pitter patter. Clutch Simulations. All right, let's start off with the Silo King food mixer. Uh, so we already have one of these, the Duo 1814 in-game. However, this is one's a little bit different. It uh, It's adjustable, and I guess, you know what, I, I can like that. I can agree. I can get behind that, literally and figuratively here. Um, yeah, not a bad little mixer. We're going to be taking a look at that. So there's a couple of few options that we have available to this one, very similar to the one in-game, but this one here has got a couple other options. So let's go in store and take a quick look. So you're going to find this obviously under your, oops, under your, your animals. There we go, animals. So here's the base uh, Duo 1814. So it's got a base of 16,000 liters. There's no options really with it, right? It's your standard. Now, we, th the updated one, the mod version we have, has a capacity of 14,000. So it's a bit smaller to start with, but you can add, this here is the 16,000. So this would be the same as in game. And then we can go all the way up to 18,000 to make it the biggest one available. Now, I'm not sure if that's really going to adjust your ratios or not. It might. I'd have to go test that. I haven't done so yet. Um, you also have an option for wide tires or standard tires. And your price maxed out is going to be around, what, 55,500 bucks. So that is the Silo King mod for the Duo 1814. Excellent. Cool. All right. Well, let's move along here. Now, we did receive a new cultivator as well. And I'm running into an interesting issue with this bad boy. Look at this. Isn't that strange? So this is the Lizard Villa SXHV30. Uh, it's just kind of grabbing onto Earth that's not there. Ugh, it looks kind of like... What is that? <laughs> I've never noticed that before. It looks bizarre. Anyways, uh, let's hook it up to the trailer here, or the tractor, I should say. Uh, we can talk about those in a second. We'll drop that. Boom. All right, so this, like I said, is the Lizard Villa SXHV30. Now, this is actually a good sized cultivator and it doesn't require a lot of horsepower. There we go. And the one problem with it, so like I said, it doesn't require a lot of horsepower, but it does take a little bit of weight. Now, I've got this uh, Valtra and it's about 160 horsepower, I believe. It's a second stage motor. It's enough to power this, but the weight doesn't have it to hold down. So you're going to need some kind of a weight on the front to do that. But let's go take a quick look at this in store. And just a comparison's sake, this was the PC mod we had last week, the Sapphire. Uh, it's very comparable to the Sapphire in the grand scheme of things. Only this one here, well, it's a little bit bigger. Let's go take a look at it. So we go to our cultivators. Uh, once again, you're going to find them all near the end. All right, so here's a sapphire we got last week, the 601. So 13,000, it's a six meter cultivator. The villa, it is a 7.8 meter cultivator, 25,000. There's no options with it, of course. It's a cultivator, as you'd expect. But uh, interesting comparison there. So you're gonna pay almost double for it, mind you, but interesting nonetheless. Now the sapphire, unfortunately, was PC only, as you're aware, but uh, this one here is for everybody, which is great. You know what, I'm just going to move this weight around to the front here. Let me just pick this up. I've been working out tons. There we go. Put that around the front. Um, so yeah, with the, the the horsepower required for this is only 140, 150 horsepower? 150, I think it was. There we go. So let's just lower this down so I can pick up the weight. Now once you get the weight on the front of this, it'll, it'll be fine. And then we can lift this up. And there we go. All right. Now I'm getting, an like I said, interesting animation, but it's only when I'm on land that has been terraformed for whatever reason if i go let's see here if i go up here onto the field oh uh, no i'm getting the same issue look at that interesting um regardless of which let's uh fire this thing up and take a quick look here come on does that to be in the on position that's interesting there it goes so it has to be in the uh, up position for it to unfold it wouldn't unfold for me what was in the down position there we go so max speed is about 15 kilometers an hour or nine miles per, per hour and like i said we're only holding about 160 horsepower with this tractor that's not a bad size cultivator and and uh, cultivating speed for a tractor of this size not bad at all that's just a funny little issue we're getting with that let's see if it does it again when i fold back up here draw it back down see if it goes straight into it yeah it does too interesting i haven't been able to recreate it every single time but a lot of the times it does do this it's bizarre 
Anyways, so that there is the Lizard Villa SX HV30. Awesome. All right, well, and you can see here, actually, this is one other thing I did want to talk about. The animation for that back piece, it does seem to sway with uh, the tractor. It's kind of interesting. It's a good design little mod. I like this one. Anyway, it's, a great, it's actually a pretty good starting mod for a harvester. If you, you just start your farm out, not bad harvester. Not bad for cultivating right off the bat. All right, so we've talked about the cultivator. Next, we've got this small little water tank, and it's considered a front. Get rid of that. Get you out of the way. <laughs> you can have all the dirt there. We'll get that weight out of the way. Now, this is considered a, a front tank, a homemade IBC front tank. Now, I've already gone to the water side and filled it up. This fills up just like any other water tank in-game or water trailer. Boom. Now, they're considered a front water tank, but of course, it's just a three-point hitch. So you could put that on the back of any tractor or the front, the ones that have the three-point hitch, of course. Um, it's just a simple tank. Now, it's about 2,000 liters, and its price is about $1,900. So not bad. It's a really in a, in a, or efficient, I should say, uh, tank for your your animals. Um, I believe the jaw skin is the next size up, and it is around seven or eight thousand dollars. Mind you, you're going to get triple the capacity, but for early game, not bad. Not a bad option for feeding your cattle and your and your horses and whatever else you may want to do it with. So that there is the homemade IBC front tank. Like I said, about just shy of two thousand dollars and about two thousand liters as well. You could fill this up at any water source, same as your trailer. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. And last of all, we receive the three silo bunkers. Uh, these three bad boys here, they're pretty good sizes. So we've got a small, medium, and large. Uh, the prices should be 20, 30, and 40,000 respectively. Pretty good size bunker. Look at the size of this thing. So this is very comparable to uh, one of the ones we have, or many of the ones we have at the BGAs. Pretty good size bunker for personal use. I do like it. It's good. It's a good size. So uh, not much to talk about there. There's no actual uh, leaders listed on this. I wonder how much we could fit in this thing. It's got to be a ton. The last thing I wanted to talk about that we got an update in the Mod Hub for was the Lime Station, guys. Um, the only thing it tells us about the Lime Station, which is right here, is that it is now able to be put closer together. Um, I don't get the point, to be perfectly honest. I don't know why you need more than one lime station on your farm. Uh, I only plan on having one. So I don't know why you need to have two and why you'd want them side by side, but now you can do it if you want. Congratulations. <laughs> Anyways, nice looking lime station. I just wish we had similar similar stations that were for seed and for fertilizer. I do like the look of these ones, but uh, they're lime only. Anyways, so that's it for the console mod, guys. The rest we're talking about are PC onlys. And since we're over here, let's talk about this. This is a placeable for PC. Uh, the uh, Westil, Westil, there we go, I think I pronounced that right, uh, it's the silo uh, extensions. Now, you need to place down a standard silo like we have here first before it'll let you place these. Just be aware of that. And then once you place it in the proximity of your main silo, it will add uh, that functionality, that size to it. So we can take a quick look at these in the store. Uh, once again, under silos, of course, you will need, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Down near the end, there we go. So your silo extension, 100,000, 500,000, and one million. Those are your three sizes. Um, yeah, they're great, they're nice little extensions. I do like the authenticity of them, they look pretty good that way. Cool, so that's the uh, the main placeable that we received for PC. Uh, the mod that we received an update for for PC were these transfer forks here, guys. So we had the uh, set of, I believe it was three or four of these beforehand. Uh, these transfer forks now the paint has been updated a little bit it's a different gloss uh, there's a different store image um, there's some straps now that you can add when you're hauling certain things with them the other addition is that's added the model r the transfer model r which is this one on the end here with the more of a t style uh, frame to it I, I guess it's faster i don't know the model r usually that means it's faster does it not <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, I don't know why you'd want it. I think I'd personally go with one of the other ones as you can adjust them in store afterwards where you're just stuck with a two prong with that one. Anyways, regardless of which, uh, it's an update to this mod if that is what you're using. Let's move along to something a little more interesting. Uh, we also received this bale fork here. Now, let's take a quick look at this one here in the store. Once again, not a lot to talk about as far as this goes. Uh, where are we going here? It's just that it's for a telehandler again. Now, we do already have a few of these. I mean, the standard bale fork, obviously. Uh, and there she is. The a flow zinger bale. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not pronouncing that properly, am I? But $1,700. Uh, very standard looking mod. Uh, we've got a few of these already that may be more useful. 
I think I might use potentially a little bit more, but that's another option. Um, the other interesting thing that we received, and let me just jump inside the telehandler here, is the display for tool positioning mod. Now, you can't really see anything right now, no, because we don't have any tools hooked up. Now, I'm gonna fire this up, and I connect to our bail fork that we just connected into, and you can see, I've already set this up, so it's telling me where my height is set up and what degree I have the fork set at, on the very bottom of your screen there, which is kind of interesting now, if I wanted to have this as zero down here, so let's see. Make sure it would typically have this already set, but I was messing around with it earlier. There we go. Perfect, okay, so there was our zero, so we can see that we're almost two meters off the ground, six degrees up and down. So that's interesting. Uh, if we had a trailer or a, a rack that we were using consistently and we wanted to find out how uh, where we where our normal position would be, so if that was the unloading position, we could hit our control N for height and control J for degree and control J for height. J for height and N for degree. And that will set our uh, zero values for both of those. Now, you can see that if I bring it back down to zero, that is, uh, it's still reading out whatever the height was, so I can figure out where I needed to be to place my item on a shelf, or a trailer, or whatever. But the interesting thing about that is, let's just get rid of this, so you can see we don't have anything there. We've gotten rid of the implement. Now if we go and connect to a bucket, once again now, the zero is actually showing on the ground roughly. Let's see, there we go. So that is roughly zero right there. So right along the ground, not up here where we had set on the bail fork. So that setting is saved per implement, not per tractor or per vehicle, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's an interesting idea. So now when we go back to our bail fork, we can tell right away that, or is that zero again? Oh yeah, that's right, it's up here somewhere. That's something like that is a roughly our zero point, right? So we can kind of tell right away. So it's saved by implement. That is the display for tool positioning mod for PC, guys. I thought it was kind of an interesting mod. Anyways, um, I believe it was available for FS17. I never played with it, so that was the first time I looked at it just now. So let's go look at a few other mods for PC here quickly. So this set of the trailers here is all the same trailer. It's the BSS uh, P73SH, uh, I guess, utility trailer of sorts. Uh, you can see that these configurations, there's four configurations for it that are available. Uh, you got from a normal flat deck trailer for bales. And there's, I believe you can put straps on this one as well. You've got a regular cargo trailer, an extension cargo trailer, and then even a larger technical extension for this cargo trailer with wire fencing around it. All kind of interesting. Um, you cannot manipulate the sides on this one without it going back to the shop and doing a, a change on it to different cost, which doesn't really make sense to me. But anyways, uh, this one here in particular I was interested in just because we haven't seen anything with this mesh side. But my understanding is this one here is for grain, just like the other ones. Let's go take a quick look at the store here. So of course you're going to find this underneath your trailer section. And we'll scroll all over here. We've got a ton of trailers nowadays. Where is she? There she is. So the coloring is uh, is all interchangeable as well. You have a few different options for your main color, black or gray. And then for your design color, you have the four different options there, green, red, and brown. Uh, so once again, your capacity, you can go from 6,000 to 9,000. Your base price is 11,600. Uh, 11, Let's see what the bail wagon, it's the same price. So between your bail wagon, your loading wagon, and the, the um, small cargo wagon, same price. There is no difference. I thought there was, but there is not. Uh, going up to your... The extension is going to add you a $2,000, but it's going to add you 3,000 liters of capacity. And then all the way up to 15,000 liters plus four grand. So that's an interesting load. Um, let's see if I can spin this around so you can see the differences here. So it does give you an option to change reflectors, which is pretty minor. You can see there, you can, we, the reflectors change on the, uh, the way they are designed on the trailer itself. And the last one is the fenders, which this one here is kind of funny. So you can see on these back, if you watch the lights, that's an extra $500 change just to have uh, like a squared off look rather than the round look. Odd. Very strange to have that much of a cost for that difference. Uh, I don't know if I'd be paying that. <laughs> Anyways, the other thing I wanted to look at, just be aware of this, because I thought potentially you could throw some bales in this brown trailer that we built. Let's see here, we'll jump in here. And we'll disconnect. So we just have... Oh, no, 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 I want that one disconnected. There we go. Now obviously they're rear hitch as well, so you can tow as many of these as you can connect. But uh, the way these tip, I'll bring up the tool tips. 
You do have options. Uh, which one is it? There we go. Tip right side or tip left side with this trailer, as you can see there on my tool tips. It's changing back and forth. There's no rear tip on this one, which is odd. But uh, when you do the tip as well, the, the side drops off. And that fence kind of opens up. So I wouldn't recommend throwing bales inside this. I thought maybe you could get away with throwing a couple bales in here. It might be a, a safe way of keeping your bales safe. I guess I wouldn't recommend that because that wouldn't really come out of there very nicely, would it? Anyways, guys, that is really going to do it for the mods. We've spoken about all the mods. Like I said, we got four new mods for PC console. Uh, we got four new mods for just PC and uh, one mod update for console and one mod update for just PC as well. Quite a busy, quite a busy day in the mod hub. Anyways, very, very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, guys, make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we will probably catch you tomorrow when some new mods drop then. Hope you have a great day, guys, and we'll talk to you then. This is Clutch. Over and out.